Well, today is the day of reckoning. We're going to find out if the beast's injection pump is working properly. We're also going to attempt to clean it out. I'm sure there's a lot of old varnish in there from the old fuel that sat for years. So what I've done here is I've rigged up uh, a system where I can cycle cleaner through the injection pump. I'm not going to be using the fuel tank in the car nor the uh, you know, the fuel pump back there in the back. I've got this 10 PSI electric pump here and we're going to run this cleaner through this tank into the system, back to the tank, and we're going to just cycle it, okay? We're going to keep cycling the cleaner. What I'm using is about 80% carburetor cleaner and 20% transmission fluid. Added the transmission fluid to give it a little bit of lubrication, but I really wanted to get the carburetor cleaner through there to try to work some of that old varnish out, you know, and this, this is going to be the real test here of how easy it's going to be to get this engine to run because if that injection pump will not pump fuel, <laughs> then it's going to have to come off and go out and get rebuilt. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, the first thing is we're going to just run the pump. We're not going to crank the engine over yet. We're just going to run the pump and cycle the fuel cleaner through it and back in. You'll get a chance to see how it comes back into this capture tank. It's pretty slick because it comes back into a separate chamber and we can monitor how dirty that cleaner is as it returns from the pump. Here you can see some of the brake cleaner starting to separate from the transmission fluid. Uh, this is what came out in the return line. Let's pour a little bit out and see how it looks in a, in a flat pan here. I think you can see it. It's, uh, I don't know if it's real rusty, but it is definitely got some varnish in there. Uh, so we're, we're, we're cleaning that pump out. There's a couple specks of dirt there too, so we're going to have to be a little careful. We'll keep running the pump for a while until we can get this cleaner to run a little bit clearer. Okay, we're going to drain this all the way out and take a look inside the bottom of the cup. That's going to give us a clue just how much dirt is coming out of the pump. Of course, we've got residual... Um, crud and junk in the fuel lines as well, but you can see there's some dirt in there. It's not real bad at this point. Okay, you got to see what actually is coming out of the pump. Uh, it, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, I've, I, I actually suspected it to be a little bit dirtier, but right now, see, we're going to give it the real test. We're going to crank the engine with a starter at the same time we're running this electric pump as it pumps the cleaner fluid through the injection pump. Now you're going to get to see firsthand whether or not this is going to work. Here is how I'm going to monitor what is coming out of the injection pump. I've removed the factory injector hard lines. I've installed these short straight hard lines and put hoses on here running into bags and we've sealed them with zip ties. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is to get an idea of just how well the pump is squirting and what is coming out of the pump. Let's cross our fingers and see if this works. Oh boy, we got fuel and not very clean. You think I'm happy? Boy, I am really happy. This is a great sign. This doesn't necessarily mean that there's no problem with the injection pump, but at least it's pumping the cleaner. And you can see it's coming out in the bags. We're going to do this a little bit more today. We're going to run probably another tank through. We'll recharge the battery, do it again. And once this is running clear, we'll start bolting everything back. Once I know I'm getting good fuel flow out of all eight of these lines. We're going to put the stock lines back on, hook them up to the fuel injectors and get the new fuel filter in, the tank set up, the pump ready to go. And then we're going to do it again. Okay. We're going to test it again before we actually put the fire to it. You know, there's one thing I forgot to mention earlier in this video. I, I, I know some of you are probably questioning, Hey Kent, why is that engine turning over so fast? Well, I did pull all the plugs out. I think I mentioned this way back in a previous video. I pulled all the plugs out and we soaked all the cylinders. 
with a combination of transmission fluid and diesel fuel, and that's been soaking for quite a while. So what I want to do is I want to spin the engine without it under load. This is also going to build up oil. It's going to move oil through the engine. And I decided um, that, you know, I mentioned in the previous scene that I was going to button everything back up, but in, in reality, I'm not. I'm going to hook everything back up in terms of the, the stock fuel system. But before I reinstall the factory hard lines, we're going to make sure it's pumping fuel from the tank. And that'll be the kind of the final test that, uh, you know, the fuel system is delivering fuel to the injectors. And then I'll come back and we'll install those factory hard lines. And <laughs> then, then we're going to really cross our fingers and hope the beast will fire back to life.